Hello, uh, I'm Shachar Peled, uh, freelance translator since 1985, um, sharing with you some insights on the art, the industry, the profession. Um, in this uh, clip, I'd like to speak a little bit about um, the classic uh, position of the translator as the go-between. Um, I'll, um, I'll look at a, a bit from uh, a, a verse from the Bible, uh, speaks of uh, Joseph uh, meeting his brothers, and they are speaking between themselves and saying, oh, why, we are in a plight, this is terrible, what's happening? And uh, they did not know, and it says in the verse that they did not know that uh, Joseph is hearing them because uh, the advocate, um, the translator actually, uh, was between them. So in this uh, um, classic biblical uh, mention of the, uh, the art of translation, we have the translator in the middle and we have the two parties. And uh, on the one side, we have Joseph who can speak both uh, the language of his brothers and the language of Egypt. And we have the brothers who can speak only their language. They don't know Egyptian. And in the middle, we have the translator who knows both languages. So they are speaking and they don't know that Joseph can understand what they're saying. But the verse says they did not know that Joseph can hear them because hearing is in fact understanding. If you don't understand it, you just, it's like noises. And the, the idea of uh, hearing here is like listening or understanding. And indeed, uh, most Bible translations um, render this differently. Uh, it says, uh, um, instead of saying that there was someone between them, they cut out the middleman, more or less. Like, uh, I'm going to read to you from the KJV. Um, the KJV says, And they knew not that Joseph understood them, for he spoke unto them by an interpreter. So you see the interpreter here is already an instrument, a device in the hand of Joseph, not between them. And indeed, uh, as I spoke before about this issue of invisibility, that we are the invisibles, because uh, we should, we are there like, uh, like it's like, um, uh, I think like a tool of understanding. It's like, even though we create the, the target, actually we are just uh, a means for the person to understand the source. And we are, it's like he has this extension of his brain now, which is called the interpreter. And this interpreter, this translator, uh, helps the person who understands our target language to understand uh, what was intended in a source that is... Uh, not accessible to him or her, or maybe only accessible partially because they don't speak the language. So, okay, more about this in future recordings.